as winter begins to set in and air quality in many parts of india starts to decline delhi becomes the center of attention not only for national but also for news outlets across the world new delhi has been named the world's most polluted capital in 2020 a title the indian city has now claimed for the third straight year in the last few months The city's air pollution has routinely hit the highest point that the air quality index chart can measure, 1000 AQI, 20 times higher than what's deemed healthy. The World Health Organization says New Delhi's air is full of highly toxic particles. The agency warns that millions of people are at risk of developing cancer, heart disease or suffering a stroke. The WHO is periodically But obviously, Delhi is not alone when it comes to suffering from this problem. In fact in the past few years Mumbai India's financial capital and its most populous city has steadily witnessed its air quality going down I mean Mumbai has been recording poor air quality and moderate air quality for the past few years That's the Indian Express's Pratip Acharya who reports on Mumbai for the paper but the situation skyrocketed from last year onwards so in between november 2022 and january 2023 out of the 92 days mumbai saw 66 days of bad air that's over 70% of days witnessing bad air quality in fact records analyzed by the indian express and data obtained by the newspaper under the right to information act shows a pattern emerging and pratip recently highlighted that in a series called death by breath in this episode we speak to him about the series and what it reveals about the crisis hi i'm chashank bhargav and you're listening to three things the indian express news show so pratip you said that the problem really became worse last year what exactly changed for the city So before that usually Mumbai had a geographical advantage which means that unlike Delhi which is a landlocked city Mumbai is surrounded by sea from three sides due to which the sea breeze can easily come to the mainland and due to which there was a system of natural cleansing of air right wind patterns affect air quality a lot and one would imagine in a city like Mumbai which is right next to the sea the coastal breeze would just blow away the pollution which can't happen in Delhi for example but why is it that this is not happening in mumbai anymore so this is basically an amalgamation of both man made and natural factors so obviously the climate change is a issue i mean even though meteorologists like still say that climate change is not directly affecting this but there is a certain set of scientists and experts from the indian institute of tropical meteorology who say that due to the current climate change the current wind pattern has changed before like till last year or last to last year the wind pattern or the wind reversal method used to happen within a period of like 2 to 3 days but now it is happening within after a gap of 15 days 16 days or even 3 weeks so this is one of the natural factors that has played a role and also another factor we are seeing like this is something that can be you know attributed to the condition of this year and not to what happened last year this monsoon withdrawal happened in october 10 and not even a month has passed since the monsoon withdrawal took place so basically at present we are also witnessing a like rise in temperature due to this you know the suspended particulate matters which we call as pollutants due to the sudden rise in temperature they are lingering in the lower atmosphere so this too could be some a uh, reason due to which the air quality has gone south i mean the natural reasons right and besides this there are of course a lot of man made reasons which we'll get to in a bit but tell us when does the city's air typically get worse So basically the cities here typically starts getting was is post Diwali because during Diwali like all the cracker bursting that takes place and everything so after Diwali because during that time also the temperature starts to drop due to which the wind also becomes a little bit the breeze also little bit becomes slow actually it starts happening from post Diwali and it picks up during the month of December Jan and Feb so this is the usual time but this year we have seen it at a much earlier stage like from October we are seeing it like Diwali is still 2 weeks left And how bad would you say is the air these days? 
like it's bad i mean i still remember the day when we published the story the one day before like it was on 18th or 19th of october vile palde was recording 444 or 445 at like we got startled by seeing those figures and i was discussing with one of my fellow reporters that the pollution control board's uh, monitor is working fine but later we realized that no the aqi is really like it had has gone down to that level and if you go by the central pollution control board which is the cpcb's figures we have seen the pm 2.5 components which is one of the primary pollutants they have increased by 45% in the last one year matlab in mumbai for the month of october we have seen a increase in 45% which is a very alarming rate i believe and when the air quality becomes poor can you see that change happening yeah i mean the change is there i mean yeah you can see it because there is always a blanket of you know thick like hay is a smog like thing that is always there in the sky i mean for example if you go to marine drive you know the marine drive the skyline is famous but you can't just see the other side i mean that famous skyline from where you see that long you know chain of buildings but that is not visible especially you can see it in the early in the morning and during the later in the afternoon you can literally see it okay so earlier you spoke about the natural factors but there are also a number of man made reasons that has led to the air quality becoming so bad in the city talk about the top 5 man made factors that the administration has identified actually the administration has identified five man made major factors like out of all the major factors the main is the construction works that is happening everywhere in the city because mumbai is seeing a like a slew of infrastructure was right now there is the metro happening there is the mumbai coastal road project happening there is the mumbai transabal link road happening so this three major projects along with the road concretization project that the chief minister of the state has announced last year so all this heavy like civil works because a lot of dust lifting and due to this thing i mean this construction works have been you know leveled as the most important like one of the major contributing factors behind the city's aqi this is being followed by you know the dust displacement from the roads the road cleaning work and the ancillary works that have been taken for road works any infrastructure was beta demolition of a bridge all this kind of thing right and you mentioned in the series that construction dust for example throws up particulate matter whose composition is a mixture of liquid and solid elements that include cement sand stone chemicals and even metal and cement handling basically which is common to all construction generates pm 2.5 and pm 10 that can deeply penetrate the respiratory system but construction is only one reason what is next on the list so another primary contributor that has been identified is the burning of open garbage and open garbage bombing is a very very common phenomena like it happens like throughout the city and there is no proper action that is being taken against these activities even though there is a bylaw of, for this the authorities can penalize but that bylaw was also set up 17 years ago and the penalty amount was also set up back then but over the last 17 years no action has been taken by anyone also the penalty amount has not been increased Yeah, as per the BMC bylaws, the penalty for this was set at hundred rupees in two thousand six, and over the last seventeen years, like you said, it has not been revised, and no one has been charged with it. But Pratip, garbage burning is also a waste management problem. So talk about the ways in which the city has tried and maybe failed to tackle this problem. Yeah, for this we need to first understand the basic, the common demography of the city. Because even though Mumbai co, we say that we are the financial capital of this country, but sixty percent of the population resides in slums. So basically, what happens is the basic rule of the BMC, which is the governing authority, that they collect door to door waste and they have a rule of proper waste segregation, which means that you segregate your dry waste and your wet waste. But most of the segregation takes place in the gated societies, the buildings, the residential buildings, the towers, and everything. But in the slums, this is not happening. because in the slums you are not reaching out to the people on one hand there is a lack of awareness among the people also on the other hand the system doesn't feel the need to empower them so basically you can't reach out to them and uh, they don't know what to dump the waste and for them the only common and the only easiest way out of disposing waste is to burn it so that is why they take to you know burning the waste okay so construction garbage burning what is the third reason on the list The third one is the unclean use of unclean fuels. There are several eateries, there are several bakeries, and uh, in Mumbai, if you go to any place, you will see a khao gali, which means a small lane 
that has you know food trucks you know mobile vans that act as restaurants you know the concept of mobile mcdonald's that exist in the west so this kind of vehicles you will see and these vehicles you know they operate this chulhas so this also generate adds to the air pollution and also are there industries in the city that contribute to this problem yeah the industries are there but also you know to understand that most of these industries are located on the outskirts of mumbai for example in thane for example in navi mumbai for example in kalyan you go to this places this place is industrial belt and uh, they contribute to the like air pollution of mumbai because the place where these industries are operating they also emit toxic elements toxic pollutants and also air doesn't have any control air flows so when that air that is coming from the kalyan side or from the navi mumbai side and this air travels to bombay i mean it easily pollutes the current air shed of this place so that's how it works right and besides all this the other reason that air quality has been going down is vehicular traffic and road dust the vehicle density we all know has been increasing everywhere in the country but pratip now let's talk about what this pollution is doing to people tell us what does data reveal about how air pollution has been affecting mumbai cars and we understand that for this aspect your colleague rupsa chakravarti also spoke to experts yeah so basically my colleague rupsa who is also working with me on this and she is a health reporter so she has extracted this data from the bmc through iti the data says that between like 2015 and 2021 so there has been a increase in you know asthma patients in mumbai so which also includes like in 2015 the figures of asthma patients in the city was 1064 and 2021 it is around 1104 so which is like almost a 10% increase in the numbers also around more than 14300 people have succumbed to chronic obstructive pulmonary disease between 2016 and 2021 in the city so which indicates that in an average six people died due to copd daily during this period i mean during this period i mean this 5 years so this is quite serious and also one also needs to understand that since this problem has started to develop over the past 2 3 years you won't see the health impacts immediately yes what's happening right now might affect people years down the line yes yes right now there will be effects but only to the vulnerable groups which includes the children and the senior citizens and also those who have you know diseases like asthma and all that but if you look long term and if this situation is not being tackled right now it is going to have long term effects yeah and besides this we all know that such air pollution besides leading to neurological disorders and kidney damage it also significantly increases your chances of getting cancer and your report points out that lung cancer in the city has increased by 48.6% over the past 12 years and we know of course that when it comes to health problems they affect children a lot more than adults but you know back in march perhaps knowing all this the bmc had laid down a set of very specific guidelines to tackle air pollution did that help at all yeah the guideline only came after like the rampant reporting that has happened i mean this year we have done a proper investigative thing stuff but last year it was really bad and last year we were already after them and last year we literally did one story attributing the you know the civil works that has been happening for example there is this gokhle bridge and we showed that how the construction works that how the dismantling work of that bridge is directly affecting the air quality by showing the air quality readings the eqi reading figures of that area only since the demolition and construction of the bridge started that andheri did not record a single day of good eqi while last year they have recorded like decent eqi numbers during that period of time so we did this story and after that also we kept you know doing this story day after day but in march this year they came up with this uh, mumbai air pollution mitigation plan which we call as map mp So in the map they said that they will be taking action against you know violators and by violators they mean real estate workers you know firms that are carrying out infrastructure projects so they have said that you know curtains needs to be set up so that you know the dust particles doesn't come out sprinkling of water should be carried out at the construction site so you know truck carrying construction debris should be covered so all these rules they have said and all these five points that we discussed about which are the five points that they had identified so these five points were like identified in that report itself and they have also said like all the person all the agencies that are you know taking up construction works they will have to submit a like self declaration form saying that we will be adhering to these rules but none of that really happened on ground so none of these action plans are actually being followed through 
No, none of them were followed through because when the first story published on the story, I visited five spots, which included one spot was the bullet train project, which is being the station of the Mumbai Ahmedabad bullet train, National High Railway Corridor. So it is being constructed at BKC. So we visited the spot and we saw that none of the dust mitigation measures are being followed up the rules that were guidelines that were laid out by the BMC and then we reached out for them for a comment and everything and after the first story came out the BMC came out the BMC stated that no we will issue new guidelines so now they have said that 35 meter sheets needs to be you know implemented at construction sites fogging machines need to be acquired by the real estate firms and all these things they have come up but these things were already in place they had mentioned the same rules seven months back but they have come up with again with the same rule saying that no we will do it now. So this clearly shows that they had not done anything. Right. And Prateep, the other thing highlighted in the investigation is that Mumbai does not even have enough air quality monitoring stations. To be precise, there are less than one third of the number we require. Tell us how big of an issue that is. See, this is very much, you know, we can relate to with what happened during the pandemic two, three years back. Unless and until you carry out much more number of tests, you won't be able to identify the victims. You won't be able to identify the patients. Similar to this case also, unless and until you like you augment your expand your monitoring system, you won't be able to like understand the, the root cause of these problems. You need to get local, you need to get hyper local. Because for example, Mumbai is a very big city. Like it's a very big city. And it has 24 administrative wards. And we only have 21 or 22 air quality monitoring systems. It is not even one machine per ward. So the scale of problem is huge. You need to cover a huge area. And Prateep, based on your conversation with experts, what do they say will take for the government to actually take action? See, many of them have said many things, but to in a nutshell, let me just tell you the one of the most important things that many of them have said highlighted is Mumbai needs a rule book so that, you know, this all the dust mitigation procedures and whatever these rules are being like passed on this guidelines are being passed. They should be converted to rules like there should be a provision of a penalty that needs to be included because until or unless, you know, you start like fining people, they won't change. They won't understand because in Mumbai, let me tell you also one thing during the pandemic. So the BMC was imposing fines on people who were seen without mask on roads and people were literally just for that reason, people used to wear masks. The same way why people, you know, wear helmets when while they are on the bike. People in India don't wear helmets to protect themselves. They just do that to avoid paying the fine. So this needs to be implemented. Yeah, and you write that Mumbai also needs a holistic policy since there are multiple stakeholders in the city. But do you think it also requires more public outcry? Yeah, it does. It does. It does. It does. It does require a lot of outcry. And uh, but I'm really glad that after this story came out, things started rolling. And on Wednesday, they have like the latest story that issued, you know, like how garbage burning is also an issue. BMC have announced on Wednesday that there is going to be a complete ban on garbage burning in the city among the all the other list of guidelines that they have shared. On Wednesday, the guardian minister of the city also took a press conference. And uh, based on this report, I mean, he also said that oh, they are too, uh, you are mitigating this issue. And he told me that the government will be reviewing this very closely. You are listening to Three Things by The Indian Express. Today's show was written and produced by me, Shashank Bhargav, and was edited and mixed by Suresh Pawar. If you like the show, then do subscribe to us wherever you get your podcasts. You can also recommend the show to someone you think will like it, share it with a friend or someone in your family. It's the best way for people to get to know about us. You can tweet us at Express Podcasts and write to us at podcast at indianexpress.com.